Hey guys, and welcome to our end of the month event for February. So, as promised, we're going to go ahead and review Far Cry New Dawn as we've been in into the game for a couple weeks. Um, in spurts, we're not, we haven't like done any long runs on it. It's been you know three four hours here or there. Um, however, we've got plenty of, of data to cover here, so let's jump into it, and as always, you know you know what to do, leave your comments, likes, etc., um, questions, discussion topics, anything you want, uh, so that way we can maybe make these better for you. I know a lot of people will play a video ongoing throughout these types of reviews, however, um, that's just... I don't know. I want to I want to get into the meat and potatoes here and then you know maybe one day we'll we'll add some clips from the game etc uh but let's jump into it. So Far Cry New Dawn is the follow on to Far Cry 5. Uh Far Cry 5 uh ended with uh Joseph getting caught and the whole world kind of going to shit. So, in Far Cry New Dawn, it is the follow-on to the end of Far Cry 5. So, as soon as everything starts out, you're in a incredibly new version of the Hope County map. And there's some other areas that you end up in in the very beginning as far as getting into Hope County. Um, so, that being said... Uh, overall, let's jump into the different pieces that I would like to discuss when it comes to the review. Um, let's talk about graphics. So, one of the very first things I noticed is at least with the extra time and energy put into this, um, granted they had a base shell already, they definitely improved the way the foliage looks and the map is more of a 3D, um, image than it was before. Um, a lot of the cutscenes are a little more crisp than they used to be. Um, and in some ways they're still relatable um, to Far Cry 5. So in some of the cutscenes you'll see some of the same effects uh, that you did in Far Cry 5 if you played all the way through it. So let's um you know if you if you're gonna play the game I would say you know, graphically, you're in for a good game. Now, um, there's some defensive events that are part of the game as well. That's very hectic. Um, there's a lot of moving pieces. The first one you run into is when the sisters actually try to break into your camp, which is called Prosperity, um, which is actually John Seed's old house. So... You've turned it into this camp. Um, the house is still there, and you've built it up to a point. And now the sisters bring on a gang of highwaymen to try and take it out. So you're fighting on two walls in this case, and eventually they bring in trucks on either wall that have ramps so they can just walk into the camp. And then you end up fighting to protect the house from being burnt down or destroyed. So um, there's that. And it's very, very quick. A lot of moving pieces. A lot of running out of ammo. And having to fight from side to side to make sure that nobody is uh, getting in to destroy everything that you've built up. And protecting the other um, inhabitants that are there. So um, that I think was a great addition when it comes to Far Cry and especially for New Dawn, even though it's not an incredibly overhauled brand new area, it is actually, um, it's changed quite a bit. You'll have to get into the game to, to see that. Um, outposts, uh, I think outposts are actually really cool. The way that they've done it, um, makes a lot of sense because everything is on a tier based system so 
for instance, all of my camp additives in prosperity, whether it's my health or my weapons or my expeditions, we'll get into more of that later, um, or my mapping or my garage, like everything is upgradable and it takes ethanol to upgrade everything within the camp. In order to get ethanol, you have to take out outposts that have a certain amount of ethanol based on their level. So your first level, you get 100 ethanol and I think 50 if you salvage it, plus whatever you do extra, i.e. not triggering alarms or um, getting in and not being seen at all will get you a better bonus of ethanol. So once you've completed the outpost, you can then leave. You can't do it while you're at the outpost, but as long as you leave the outpost, you can salvage that outpost and that'll gain you another 50 ethanol in the process. However, it will then turn over and become a level two outpost or a level three and so on. There's only really that I've seen a, up to three levels. So um, once you get past level three, you're pretty much done with the outpost piece. Um, that leads me into level distinction. There's a lot of that in Far Cry New Dawn, uh, whether it's you or the buildings that you're working with and the outposts and the the people that you're fighting, they all have color-coded levels. So one, two, and three are all different colors. Three is pink, I believe. Um, two is blue. And then one is, I forget, I don't remember if it's green or um, red maybe, but it's it's one, of, one different color for level one. The other thing that kind of intrigues me though is there was something that I was reading that stated that once you perk everything at level one, that you can then perk to level two. So that being said, um, I'm almost to a point where I've got every uh, level one perk. So it'd be great to see if it then expands to level two and so on. Uh, making you a lot stronger when you go into a lot of these fights. Um, speaking of fights, a lot of the fighting can be difficult. The highwaymen are not um, unskilled. The other thing that I've noticed is that uh, a lot of the crafting of equipment and whatnot is a little bit different. Um, a lot of the parts and pieces that you put together are put together from artifacts that you find around the area, being that it's a post-apocalyptic post game, you are having to scavenge around for items. It's not very hard to find. Every area has a certain amount of items that you pick up to clear the area, uh, but there's other ways to get things along the way. So as you, uh, and the vaults are back, so that helps as well because there's plenty of things in each vault that you can get. So that being said, um, vaults are a great way to get materials. You get materials from different areas that you've uh, either went to and conquered the outpost or that you just found along the way. Um, you find a new location, there's definitely some items there. The other thing about the map is this is more of a find it as you stumble upon it type map. It's not like uh, Far Cry 5 where initially you had to find a map that showed that area in order for it to reveal itself on the map. Um, this is more I'm here and it's slowly shading away the map. So there's several blacked out areas but as you explore later they'll all be visible as far as what is in them. Um, let's move on to effects. So the lighting is actually better in Far Cry New Dawn than it was in, in Far Cry 5, which would be expected because again, they're using a base shell of Hope County. It's all, for the most part, still there. There are some areas 
I noticed on the right side of the map that could potentially not be there anymore. Um, it's blacked out and it looks like it's just a wall, um, an area that you wouldn't really be able to get a whole lot out of to explore. Um, so there's that. But the other thing I found interesting is that even the wind effects. Um, if I'm driving a motorcycle, for instance, um, you can hear the wind passing through the sound. So they've, they've actually made some effects more prominent um, based on the new landscape. So I, I applaud Ubisoft on that. Um, you notice uh, into the game a little ways that you're helping Eden to an extent this time around. Um, there comes a point where after your initial fight with the sisters um, that somebody raises the fact that you may need to go to Eden to get help and they're on the northern part of the map. So you end up running into Joseph's son and he ends up basically telling you that his dad's nothing, he runs this place, etc. Um, you do some missions for them. You find out that Bliss is very much still a thing. Um, there's some puzzles in the game that are really interesting. That um, you know, like putting the cross together, um, finding photos of of places that existed before the Fallout. Um, so things like that kind of keep the game interesting, whether you're on the the story missions or not. Um, expeditions. This is a, a new addition to Far Cry New Dawn. Um, essentially there's a area in Prosperity that you can unlock and build uh, for expeditions which opens up a helicopter for transport. Uh, initially you cannot just essentially transport to from one place to another. You need to actually level up an expedition in order to move from place to place. So it makes going back to prosperity to get anything um, kind of a pain in the very beginning just because once you're there you have to drive to wherever it is and initially the points can be pretty spread out so you may be driving through half of Hope County to get to where you need to be. Um, but However, after you unlock those expeditions, you can then use the helicopter to do some fast travel around the map. Not all areas will let you fast travel initially. You'll have to then upgrade expeditions to then move into those areas that are not travelable at that time. So, excuse me. Um, so the other things that uh, about the expeditions, the rough um, even a level one expedition getting into um, like a package to pick up, which is one of the very first expeditions you'll encounter is on a, a big aircraft carrier sitting on the sea somewhere. And you essentially have to get in and getting in is pretty easy. You can sneak around above and get to the package relatively without being seen. But once you get down into the area that the package is in, you literally have 30 seconds um, to get off the boat and over to an area where you're going to get picked up by the helicopter that dropped you off. However, once that 30 seconds is over, you have to survive, and I forget if it's a minute and a half or two minutes, you have to survive the onslaught because the package that you're taking is tracked and the helicopter is still not there. So it becomes a big amount of highwaymen that surround you. You end up having to shoot all of them or take them all out while dodging and, and looking for cover because it gets very hectic very quick. And as soon as the chopper's there, you have to make your way to it, jump back on it, and still take fire until the chopper's out of the way. And the chopper can't be shot down. What I mean by that is 
it can be, you have to prevent it from being shot down in order to actually excel and defeat the expedition. So it's very interesting, very challenging. Um, I haven't done a second one yet just because I'm building levels um, and grinding a little bit. But when I build those levels up, I'm going to go back into that same one and see how much more or less difficult it is. Um, it may level up with me. As a matter of fact, I know that the original one went to a level two expedition and the reward gets a little bit higher. However, again, have to be prepared because it's it's onslaught. It really is. And it's it's um, one of those things where you have to be dodging, ducking, hiding behind things and um, popping out to, to make your kills as efficiently as possible. Uh, to make them happen so um let's move on uh returning characters uh there's quite a few of them uh in this so far i've ran into hurt drumman i ran into the rise and by the rise i mean their entire family so nick rise still there their daughter carmina and uh his wife actually runs a lot of prosperity so they're, they're still very much there and in the game. Um, as a matter of fact, I, I forget his wife may not be. Uh, I know there was, a, there was a scene in there that uh, something happened with her house. I'm not sure if she was involved in a bad way in that. I can't remember off the top of my head. But anyway, um, yeah, so the rise, Pastor Jerome is back. Obviously, adding um, some age, but uh, so there's many more um, characters from the old that are now in New Dawn. So it was interesting to see them. Um, the last thing I want to really touch on before I end this video is that um, there seems to be the same NPC for outposts and quests outside of Prosperity. It's kind of annoying in a way, at least from my outlook, because it's post-apocalyptic apocalyptic already. There's not many people um, running around other than the highwaymen and, and, you know, so those areas, yes. But, I mean, we're at a, we're at a level where games have been able to add hundreds of zombies and all this other thing all at once but it seems like this one female npc is always handing out the locations and quests outside of the camp and in my opinion maybe it's just the way my game is spawning but that seems to me like it's something that was just a oh well we'll always have her hand this out and make it real easy which it's kind of lazy when it comes down to it um, and confusing because, I mean, I remember the first time it happened, I was walking through the woods somewhere. I ran into her. I got a location of an outpost, and then I was walking another minute further. I ran into the same NPC, and she was giving me a, um, a vault location or something like that. So I was just kind of thrown off by that. I wish they would have done better in that department. Um, but overall, I would say if I had to rate the game at this point, I would give it a 7 out of 10. Um, and that's only because I haven't played through the entire story. If you would like uh, to hear my final rating after finishing the game, then by all means leave a comment below. I'll definitely keep that in mind and I may even just reply uh, to you directly or I'll just post it in a video somewhere along the way. Um, so that's it for this month. Stay tuned. Our next uh, news video comes out on Sunday and I haven't figured out what we're going to do for March yet for our video. Uh, I do know that um, we've got a couple other things that we're playing through. Um, nothing new coming out next month that we're going to be grabbing. We are grabbing uh, Mortal Kombat 11 
and Days Gone in April, but we'll figure out something because there's always um, a lot going on. So we've got a lot of new PS5 news, a lot of Xbox news when it comes to the next generation. So we'll see what comes out, and then probably about mid-month we'll announce what our uh, end of month story is going to be. So stay tuned for that. And thank you for tuning in to our end of month video, the review on Far Cry New Dawn. Leave your comments below, subscribe, and by all means, we'll see you Sunday. And thank you for tuning in. Have a good night, y'all.